Hello and welcome to the Electric Highway. Now in these short videos, I'm going to describe how you use the Electric Highway charging network that's in motorway services all over the country. But before you start, there are a couple of things that you need to be able to access this service. The first one is of course the card. Now this is the Electric Highway card. You can apply for this online, you get it for free, they'll send it to your house and you use that card to access the chargers. The other thing you need to do is have a quick look at the map which is online and that tells you where the chargers are located, what sort of chargers they are and whether they're online or not. That's very useful. And thirdly, and probably most importantly, the thing you need is an electric car. This is the BMW i3 range extended electric car. It's fitted with a combined AC and DC rapid charge port. Not every BMW i3 comes with this capability. So the BMW i3 can be charged using the AC connector, as shown in another electric highway video. Or by removing the second socket cover, it's possible to use the DC charging connector. The system on the electricity pump is very similar. You choose the type of DC charger you want to use, in this case CCS, swipe your card to gain access, insert the connector and press the button next to the green tick the car starts charging at that point. While you're charging, the connector is locked into the car. No one can unplug it, but that also means you need to be aware that if your car is charged enough, it's polite to disconnect and move your vehicle so other people can use the charger. Other than the BMW i3, the only currently available cars that use this system are the VW e-up and the VW e-golf. Electric car charging etiquette. It's really very basic and it's a whole new lot of manners and behaviour that we've got to learn. Now, number one, which is really pretty basic, is don't park a petrol or diesel car in an electric car charging bay. That's really not good etiquette. Number two, when you use an AC or CCS charger, the car locks the cable into position. This means no one can disconnect you, which also means you should remember to check when the car is charged. Disconnect and move your car so others can use the charger. Number three is if you can help someone who's having trouble plugging their car in and you're here, then do help them. Be generous. Show them how it's done. Explain how the system works. Number four is, if you see that the charger has got damage, if it's been vandalised, if something's broken, then give Ecotricity a call. Their number's on the side here. They're open in normal office hours during the week and explain to them what's happened to the charger. Because even though they can tell what's going on with these chargers, they can't physically see it from their offices. So if you ring them and explain, then they can get an engineer out really quickly and get the thing fixed. And finally, let's try and be mature about this. Let's behave responsibly and set a good example. Now, occasionally there are issues with either the chargers or in particular with the cars and the fact that they need to talk to each other through quite complicated electronics and occasionally, not a lot, but occasionally it does go a bit wrong. So just be patient. Try and understand that this is developing technology. It's developing very rapidly. Even a couple of years ago, these weren't as reliable as they are now. They are improving, but it is a bit of a step-by-step -step struggle so we all need to help each other to make this system work because it is remarkable every month now ecotricity is supplying over a million miles of electricity for electric vehicles and soon it'll be tens of millions it's extraordinary what's happened in such a short time so let's stick together work together try and make it better